walking through the Sepulchre Mountains, an eerie place deep in the Forbidden Zone. It was called the Negacity Limited and belonged to an unusual little man named Mr. Velcro's Widley. We were glad when he offered us a ride. From the very beginning, Mr. Widley seemed to be a person we could trust. about something about another world. Sounded kind of crazy to me. About, um, that's nothing, really. He's a writer. He writes stories. Stories? Huh? About people from another world. Well, but they all got those little green horns and tails, huh? <laughs> hey, you people aren't from Carlin, are you? Carlin? No, I never heard of it. Where's that? Oh, it's an old city, long ways away from here. People got a strange religion. Emar's almost wiped them out once. People from Carlin believe in another world, where things are more real than this one. Never can prove it. Scientists laughed at him. What was that story your, your dad was talking about? I'm not, I'm not very good at telling stories. You really wouldn't want to hear it. Yes, I would. I'll tell you what you do. You just start right at the beginning and go on. Okay. Um, well, the story's about these people who are in their own world, and they're in a, a, a desert visiting a pyramid, and they get caught in this, this strange alignment of planets. And they fell through some kind of a vortex. Kind of like a hole in time and space. And when they came through, there was this strange light flashing. And they didn't know where they were. Then, while they were trying to find out, they got into trouble with a zone trooper officer. He started a fight. And when it was over, they had his bioruptor and an access crystal. It wasn't their fault. I mean, they didn't even know what an access crystal was or all of the things it can do. So the way the story goes, they're stuck here in, in our world, trying to get to Emar, because they heard if they go there, they might find a way back home again. They've got to keep following this trail of obelisks. That don't you promise or keeps chasing them. Well, that's kind of where the story leaves off. That's pretty crazy, huh? Oh, hi, Jeff. Hi. Oh, Mr. Sterling. You got quite a girl there. She's been telling about the story, you're right. Is that right? He, uh, heard you talking last night about those strange people. Yeah, another world. You got quite an imagination. Yeah. Why don't you ride upstairs for a while, honey? I think your mother wants to see you. I like those stories. She's a good storyteller, that girl. We've been noticing the, uh, the unusual things you have in your bus. Yeah, got a little bit of everything. I gotta keep my customers satisfied. You sell all this stuff? One man's chunk is another man's bar some gems. That's what I always say. Hey, Dad, come here a minute. collectors of all. Your boy find something interesting? You know, then I can go through this bus. He's interested in the zone troopers. You got a banner and a uniform back there. Oh, yeah, well, I got a, a great deal on some sit surplus. Those troopers, they really treat me good. Of course, I bring them stuff, too, you know. That's why they let you travel through the Forbidden Zone? 
Well, I'm an old veteran, you know. Retired years ago for war wounds. That's why I get a zone pass to do business. Just a loyal old set. Couldn't do any harm, could he? Recon refrigerators. I think we're gonna get some visitors. You know they get me right here every time. You people better get your better get your papers out. I'm afraid that's gonna be a bit of a problem, Mr. Whitley. We're wanted by the zone troopers. A commander by the name of Nuveen Kroll is after us. All right. You sure pick your enemies real good. Maybe you could let us off right here. It'll get you in ten minutes. The whole place is patrolled by refractorators. They caught you in this bus. They split my tailbone, too. We don't want to cause you any trouble. Look, I tell you what you do. You go way back in, in the back of the bus there. By the, by the stairs, under that junk, there's a door. I got some secrets of my own there. Now get in there, get in there quick. Sir, he comes through here all the time. Uh, he's got to pass. So, search him. Get your papers out. things that are not pretty in order to teach them a lesson. Just as I thought, he approves. That's why I'm going to give this family a chance to get right. I'm breaking them up, sending each one of them to a separate individual citizen tribe. I want the girls. I have one of them. I want both. I like blondes. You can have one. I don't want any of them together. Well, let's start with you, Dad. 
Wilson, you're making a big mistake. We're fugitives. Everybody here is a fugitive one way or another. You're going to bring a lot of trouble down here. Okay. Okay. The zone no. troopers are after no. us. You know how no. many zone troopers I've killed? No. Just because I've been hospitable no. to you people, don't get the wrong idea. No. Now, do you want to be separated? Dead. No. Wait! can use him. I need a new inventory control assistant. Could help hard to find. Get him out of here. family. Where are they right now? You guys don't talk much, do you? Don't need to. Chalk mining is a soft job. Well, I'll show you how to use the tools. What's the chalk used for? To drink. Why won't they let my family and I be together? It uh, might interfere with your loyalty to chalk trauma. There's no fathers, mothers, brothers, sisters here. They're just the citizens and the leader, chalk trauma. Do you know where my family is right now? What they're doing? Hey, Hal. Where are your family now? What's your name, boy? Trace. That's a funny name. Mine's Pango. This junk is the fruit of our labor. We rob supply convoys in the zone. It used to be fun, but now it's just a life. You'll see what I mean. I am in charge of the distribution of everything. You are my assistant. I don't care. That's a very, very good attitude. We collect the petals from many types of desert flowers. Chalk Trauma says it's a good activity for us. He says the smell transports him and gives him thoughts. I don't want to give Mr. Chalk Trauma any thoughts. I want to see my husband. You have no husband. And if you persist in this negativity, you may never see anyone again. Here. Drink this. What's that? Do you know that big, lonely place inside of you? It fills it. When your world is far away, it brings it near. It'll make you forget all about your husband. I don't want to forget about my husband. I think we should have some. What? Look, I don't even know. Get out of here. Go hey, here, this is mine again. Now, don't you try to take it. Motorface, give me that. Now, listen Hey, come now. on, man. My idea. Go to your own area. Your I'm trying to get some pleasure in here. You are not going to do anything with me. So just get out of here. How about your mother? You're totally warped. Look, where I come from, people are supposed to be in love before they get close. I'm not in love with you. I don't even like you. If you drink the chalk, you won't care. Like and don't like don't matter. It's will and won't that count. Take the chalk. 
So come on, do the chalk and you'll get straight. That's true. I do it every day. Yeah? Maybe that's your problem. You ever try not drinking it for a while, see if you'd still be a slug? Listen, don't you criticize my lifestyle, little girl! Don't watch it. You're gonna get hurt. Things are gone. All the good things will be gone, too. Sweetie, look at these people. Look around you. You want to become like them? They're all slaves. Listen to what you said last night. I did. I, I didn't take the chalk. But I, I don't feel any different now. Give us some time. Maybe you will. Don't you know how to wear a mole snake? No. no. Give me your arm. Where are you from, anyway?
Ben Gardner is down in that pit. Ever see him? No one's ever seen him. That's what makes him God. <laughs> There's no God down in that pit. The only thing down there is a photo comet. That's what makes the light. No heat, just light. He came out of that pit, didn't you, boy? He was alive then. He died. I stuffed him with rose petals. He came out of that pit? Maybe there's another way in or out of here, a cave or something. Probably. I've seen lots of animals come out of there, but no one believes me. Actually, I take that back. Eve's the only thing ever come out of there. I don't know why I said that. I just lie sometimes. I guess you take a lot of that chalk, don't you? Chuck Tom is the only one who doesn't take the chalk. That's because he's straight already. Yeah, I take it, see? Because I don't care that much. Not anymore. I have to speak to you tonight in private. That could be dangerous. Be careful. It's important. I live alone over there in the painted caves. Find a way. There's definitely a heat source there. Looks like it could be quite a few people. We'll have to go in there. It's a long way up there. Should we get some air transport? We're on our own now, Lieutenant. Understand? Please. alone except for chalk trauma. I was the leader here, started this colony back when I left the church. Then I was a minister in the church of artificial intelligence, state religion licensed by EMA, politicians and lawyers for profit. You were the leader? Wanted to be free, have some kicks, you know. <laughs> and I lost it. Her name was... Ah, it don't matter. But man, she really tore my heart out. So I tuned into the pain, turned onto the chalk, and dropped out. That's when chalk trauma called for a blood clash, a challenge of rule. I had to accept it's all law. A blood clash? That's some kind of a fight? It's a duel on motor machines. That's how I got this bum leg. If someone were to challenge Chuck Trauma, he'd have to accept? Never gonna happen. Not now, not the way things are. Things have changed. The Chuck. I heard you two talking last night. And I thought you should see this. I've had this stuff a long time. My father gave it to me and his father gave it to him. My old man used to say that my grandfather came from another world. The story is there was once a passageway between the two dimensions of reality, two distinct universes. But then it got sealed up. A great pyramid was erected to keep people from going through. Your grandfather gave you this? Yes. It's some kind of money, isn't it? It's a U.S. dollar. See? There's the pyramid. Ah! Would you like some snack? Everybody's my father. Yeah. 
I mean, really. Who is it? Chuck Trauma. Don't tell him I told you. Yeah, I'm gonna go tell him. Now that I'm off the chalk, I... I feel so different. I, I, it, not like before. I, I think a lot. I think a lot about you. But not like before. Like what? Like my mom. Here. I think we should go back. No, no, I want to show you something. It's a secret. It's a red shadow. He's so cute. Yeah. Why do you hide him here? <laughs> to eat him. You know, you're not like the others. Yes, I am. Sure I am. Well, maybe a little. Okay. Right. This ain't gonna work. I was just gonna give you one last chance. Do you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna let you go. What do you mean? Things could get pretty bad around here. I don't want to see you get hurt. So I'm just gonna let you go. You're free. You're free. I can't go. Do you want to die? No. What's she been doing for you that you want her name on your arm? Nothing. Just love her. Something about her. But you wouldn't know. You're still on the chalk. You're not? No. And you should be off it, too. But now here you say. Nothing. You uh, tell Pig Guy to get off the chalk? No. What's this you got in your arm, boy? Ah, oh, Gina. An overt expression of individualism? A counter-revolutionary tattoo? I'll deal with you, rule breaker. Take a good look at him. He's my father and I hate him. going on here? Yeah. Yeah. And it's going to stop. We took these strangers in. We tried to set them straight. But instead, they've contaminated us. I had a little talk with the Holy One. And he said the unclean must be sacrificed in the pit. Challenge of rule. You must do it. Do it now. Take him away. Are you afraid? Now 
I'll chew you up and spew you out of my mouth. If I was to have even the slimmest of chances against chalk trauma, I would need all the help and instructions that Rev and Pango could give me. Inside, I was tied in knots, but I tried not to show it. I could handle a motor machine a little, but shock trauma was born to ride. Still, I kept thinking, a man can do extraordinary things when he has to, and I had to. Besides, whatever happened was buying us time. facing a very difficult test, but I knew I would have to ask something of June and the kids that would be just as tough. Not yet. Soon. Very soon. How'd I do? Chuck Trauma doesn't seem to be taking this too seriously. It might be the best chance we've got. <laughs> Me, he only gave a bum leg. That's back when he was a good guy. What do I do? Don't follow your instinct. Run into him if you have to. Do anything you gotta do to get him off his bike. As long as he's on his bike, you don't have a chance. I've got a thermal indication of an aperture. Looks like a cave entrance. I cannot leave without you. I will not leave without you. That's impossible. I have a very good chance of beating him. If I do, they'll let us go. If I don't... You and the kids have got to get out of here. During the blood clash is your only chance. One of us has to find a pair of very dark goggles. Otherwise, it's too bright to find your way out. But there is a way. I believe that. I have to know you'll do this.
first. What the hell's going on here? A chalk party? I've got to go back, but you stay here. You'll be safe. The cave is crawling with zones. Your only way out is the photocomet pit. Here's a map of the five provinces I know about. Maybe it can help you out. But anyway, good luck. Thanks. Oh! Don't forget this. <laughs> This is how we do it here. You have the goggles? I have. Let's go. is restored here, I want to see every face in this village, the dead and the living. Just chalk chalk. I don't have any sense of time. Uh, what did we tell you? We knew. Would you? How would you feel if I poisoned all the chalk on this mesa? Go ahead. We don't want it anymore. They're disgusting. Should I call for prisoner transport, sir? No. Another time. Another day. These scum. Hardly the prisoners I'm looking for. The village of the motor pigs. How glad we were to escape it. Yet how much it was like our own world. A place of violence and fear where evil men seemed to be always in control. But even among the motor pigs, truth and love had great power. With that force on our side, we had nothing to fear on our journey home.
Sting, tonight at 9 on Sci-Fi.